Hello, my name is Eitan Siegel. I'm the director of VPN products at Checkpoint Software Technologies. Encrypted SSL traffic is critical for user privacy and to securely conduct business across the net. And indeed, we've seen a huge rise in websites shifting to SSL in recent years. This is a good thing. However, encrypted traffic can be used to conceal attacks. To prevent threats, we need the ability to look inside encrypted traffic. I'm going to talk about Checkpoint's SSL inspection technology, which allows our advanced security functions to analyze the content of encrypted network traffic. With SSL inspection, our gateways can enforce the same level of security on encrypted traffic as they do with clear traffic. We'll start by reviewing how SSL is used by browsers to establish secure communication with a website on the internet. We'll be using Facebook as an example. Notice the browser is using HTTPS. The S denotes that the HTTP session is encrypted with SSL. The first function of SSL is to establish trust with the site. The browser trusts a web server if the server has a digital certificate that was issued by a Trusted Certificate Authority, or CA, that is vetting the site's identity. The SSL handshake starts off with the web server sending its certificate to the browser. Facebook's web server needs a way to prove it's the rightful owner of this certificate. For this, Facebook has a file called a private key, which is cryptographically paired with its certificate. Without possession of Facebook's private key, no one can forge its certificate and impersonate the site on the web. This is a key part of SSL. Facebook's certificate is signed by a CA named VeriSign. Our browser searches for VeriSign certificate in its store of trusted CA certificates. On Windows, the list of trusted CAs is maintained by Microsoft. In our example, the VeriSign certificate is found in the trusted store. And so, the browser decides to trust Facebook's certificate. Now that the SSL cryptographic validation is done, and the browser trusts the website, browsing commences using SSL encrypted communication. Let's visit Facebook again, but now we're going to turn on Checkpoint SSL inspection. We'll do this from the HTTPS inspection page on the smart dashboard. The first step for enabling SSL inspection is to create a CA certificate to be used by the gateway for signing. We provide a certificate name, validation date, and a password that will protect the private key. We then enable HTTPS inspection. You'll notice I skipped step two. We'll get back to that in a short moment. Now that our gateway is performing SSL inspection, let's browse to Facebook again and see what happens this time. The gateway sees the browser's SSL request, and rather than letting the request through, it initiates its own SSL session with Facebook, pretending to be our browser. Like the browser, the gateway has its own trusted CA store which it uses to validate that we trust Facebook's certificate. This validation is critical in order to preserve the trust validations that are normally carried out by the browser. Once the connection between the gateway and Facebook is established, the gateway creates an SSL certificate that is very similar to that of Facebook. This certificate has its own private key associated with it. The gateway signs the copied certificate using the CA certificate we created for the gateway. Now, the gateway completes the SSL session with our browser, pretending to be Facebook, and using that just-created certificate. But wait! The certificate that the gateway has generated for Facebook is not signed with the CA that the browser trusts. It's signed with the certificate we generated a moment ago. So, the browser warns the user that the certificate is not valid. There's one more key step that must happen before the gateway can perform SSL inspection without generating a warning in our browser, and that is that the gateway CA certificate must be added to the browser's trusted store. To accomplish this, we export the gateway CA certificate file. That's the second step we skipped a moment ago. And then import it manually to your PC's trusted CA store. You can also automatically distribute the Gateway CA by using group policy objects in Microsoft Active Directory. From this point on, the browser trusts certificates generated by the Gateway and will thus trust the one that the Gateway has just created for Facebook. At this point, the Gateway has established SSL connections with both Facebook and our browser 
acting as a bridge between the two. This way, the gateway can inspect the content of the encrypted SSL traffic. As an example, let's see SSL inspection in action with Checkpoint's Data Loss Prevention, DLP. Using my personal Gmail account, which uses SSL, I write an email to my friend Jim, attaching a file containing confidential customer data. When I try to send it, I immediately get an on-screen message from the gateway alerting me to the potential breach. Before SSL inspection, this breach would have gone unnoticed. We can now also prevent threats concealed in SSL by enabling inspection for IPS, antivirus and other software blades. You may decide to avoid inspecting some encrypted traffic in order to comply with regulatory requirements or privacy laws. For example, I may want to turn on SSL inspection to perform URL filtering, but at the same time, I'd like to exclude traffic to online banking and health sites from being inspected in order to protect employee privacy. To achieve this, we use the HTTPS inspection policy in the Smart Dashboard. We add a rule to the rule base to get this done. As you can see, SSL inspection technology enables the suite of advanced checkpoint security applications to scan encrypted data in order to maximize your protection and to ensure you are secure from malicious attacks. To find out more information about Checkpoint's advanced security technologies, please visit us at checkpoint.com.